everyone. Um, so yeah, my name is Tiki. I've been at Rapid for over two years now as a developer. And when I first started there, the main question I would be getting was, um, what do they do? What's, what's Rapid? And I was like, great, I can answer this. It's like a buzzword, everyone knows what it is. Like FinTech, they do FinTech. And then like weirdly enough, they'd have this follow-up question of, what's fintech? I'd be like, oh, fintech? It's like financial tech, like payments, international payments. And like I'd get this sort of response of like, like is that fintech? And I was like, I think so. And then I went to do some research to make sure that I was telling them the right things. And what I realized about fintech is just that it's everywhere. To give you just a few examples of where we see it, online gaming platforms, any game that you need to play to join, uh, pay, pay to join, or like where you can top up funds and use funds within the game, that's fintech. Um, all the marketplaces that we know of, including Amazon and AliExpress, Uber is also considered one, and e-commerce sites, if you think of like Netflix, um, like subscription websites. So one thing that all these companies have in common is that they're global, meaning that they need somehow to have a globally integrated fintech system. And what that used to look like was this terrifying mess of just where every merchant had to have like hundreds of integrations where each integration was like one fintech platform. So you had one for payments, you had one for payouts, another one for fraud detection, another one for FX, and like it was just a big mess. Um, and also each merchant had to deal with compliance policies in each jurisdiction around the world. So it was, it was pretty insane for merchants to do. Um, so what Rapid came along to do was to just abstract all these integrations integrations into a single integration, which looks a little more like this, where Rapid became an integration, not just one integration for over 100 countries, but it also became one single integration for all the platforms of fintech that a merchant might need. So to look at a few use cases using Rapid, if we were to look at the e-commerce use case, which is, I guess, the simplest, we have customers coming from around the world, their own countries, their own currencies, their own preferred payment methods. They're coming in, they're able to make a payment, the funds go straight to the client wallet, handled by Rapid, and eventually Rapid settles out those funds into the external bank account belonging to the client. A use case that's a bit more complex is the online gaming, where it's sort of a combination of payments and payouts. We have the players coming, again, with their own payment methods, their own currencies. They're able to pay inside the game or to use their funds to pay things for pay for things. Um, but on the other hand, the merchant might want to pay out to game makers contributing to the gaming platform. So we have the merchant being able to pre-fund their client wallet at Rapid, and using that same client wallet, they're able to pay out to external bank accounts belonging to the game makers. Um, the last use case that I would want to just to mention is the marketplace, um, where customers are able to come. But because they're either different sellers, if we're talking about Amazon, or different drivers, if we're referring to uh, Uber, they're able to transfer funds directly into sub-wallets handled by Rapid. And then each sub-wallet can be defined to be settled out to a separate external bank account. So I guess the question you're all having now is, how can I do it in minutes? So I'm glad you asked, because that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create a hosted checkout page through Rapid. Now, anyone who was by our booth and contributed or participated in uh, the challenges, like, oh, been there, done that, easy, I hate CAPTCHA, that's fine. So we're going to create a hosted checkout page. If you don't know what this is, it's just a page where Rapid sort of handles the UI and the back end. The merchant just has to like, get the redirect URL from Rapid and redirect to that page. Um, but the payment is handled by Rapid. So let's get started. Step one, I've already done, but it's pretty simple. You sign up to Rapid's client portal. You get the sample code from the Rapid documentation. And you copy your authentication keys. So that I've already done. Um, but step two, we will do together. We're going to create a hosted checkout page live and pray that it works, because as everyone knows, no, live demos never work. So. I copied my access key and secret key from this client portal. And this is the code I wrote. It's pretty simple. We have one method, create hosted checkout page, the route slash checkout. And the only required parameters is the amount of the payment, the currency, and the country. So I'm going to run this and hope for the best and get the redirect URL. OK, we've got it. We're now going to copy here. We got it from Rapid. Copy this into our browser, and we're going to try and make a payment. 
So this is what the hosted checkout page looks like. You'll have all the payment methods that you selected to show. So here I just did bank and card, Google Pay, and credit card. We're going to put in some fake details because we are in the sandbox. Going to use my name. And we're going to do place order for 24 euros. OK, payment successful, finish. We got redirected to wherever the merchant would choose. I chose back to the Rapids documentation. We're going to go back to the client portal. And I just want to show you guys where we can see that payment. Here in the payment section, this is 24 euros that we just paid, and it was closed. And here we see that the e-wallet being handled by Rapid, the funds were transferred to there. So if we go back to our account, the balance of euros was updated. And here we see that we funds in to this e-wallet of 24 euros. So host a checkout page, check, payment, check. Uh, congratulations, you're all uh, fintech developers now. Um, and that's it. So if you guys want to also try it out and see what you can do in the sandbox, sign up to client portal, stop by our booth if you want to do the challenge yourselves, and uh, start building. And that's it. Thank you.